This is segment five of our uh, pool equipment renovation. Uh, the last segment, we did not have the heat pump. Um, we had it plumbed, we did not have the electricity to it yet. Uh, that was Thursday afternoon. Today's Sunday afternoon. Literally, the heat pump has run for 18 hours. And it raised the temperature of the pool from 54 degrees to 78, which is where I set the, the high point. Uh, 78 is, like, to me, a perfect temperature. So I was very happy with that. Very impressed. Uh, I'm really surprised how efficient the thing was in getting the pool heated up. Uh, the other issue last time we had was uh, I was unimpressed with the solar pump. So, to make a long story short, the solar pump will not push through the heat pump. Uh, the heat pump creates a lot of restriction in the system, which really raised the pressure. Where this system normally would operate around 5 PSI, uh, pushing through the heat pump with the 220 pump, it was operating at 18 PSI, which uh, I don't like. That's that's a high pressure, and that, you don't want that. Uh, so when I ran the solar pump, the reason it seemed like it wasn't doing anything is because it, it cannot push through that heat pump. So solar pump, not going to push through your heat pump. So you have to separate the two. So the, the magic that made this all work, <clears throat> I put a throttle in between uh, basically bypassing the heat pump. So with that throttle, I can bypass water from the heat pump and send it you know, directly through the system. And with that, the solar pump works wonderful. Um, I, I, I got this turn kind of weird. But the solar pump is operating right now, and this is late in the afternoon. And we got, you know, good sun on the panels, not great sun. Uh, but the pump is running just fine. We're building about 5 PSI in the system. Uh, the vacuum is running around the pool. Not super fast, but it is working. The skimmer, you can see the skimmer, is working great. <coughs> that's, that's all operating on the solar pump right now. Uh, the thing is super quiet. Uh, doesn't generate any heat whatsoever. Let me, let me touch some water here. There's, like, it's, there's no heat. <coughs> but uh, the whole uh, thing that made that happen was putting that valve in there, or what I call a throttle and uh, taking the pressure off the heat pump so that the solar pump could do its thing. If you want to heat your pool up, you close that valve, you run your 220 pump, you fire up your heat pump and get your pool warmed up. Uh, once your pool's warmed up, you got your solar cover you put on at night, uh, you're not going to lose a, a degree or two at night. Uh, let the system do what it's supposed to do. Once it's heated up, you know, open up that throttle or bypass valve or whatever you want to call it and let your solar pump do its business. Uh, so, yeah, steep learning curve. Um, everything's working great. I couldn't be happier right now. Uh, a lot of work. Uh, but uh, everything's hunky-dory. So, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to email me. And uh, thank you for watching. And we'll see you soon.